How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, we all know who this is, my royal family. But really my royal family, I'm not really making this video for you to listen to. Um, I'm just trying to show um, ex or former Sheriff David Clark a few things. Now, we all know my royal family that he got some issues. Now, he didn't abruptly resign. He didn't tuck his ass and bounced and left Milwaukee. And now he lives somewhere in D.C. on the hideout. Because, um, you know, he's in the middle of a divorce. But um, he has further problems in Milwaukee. Because he left a pile of shit. That needed to be cleaned up so David Clark I know you be watching this channel on the low low so um, I'm gonna take you on this nice grand tour so you can see some of the shit that they had to clean up uh, because of your wonderful leadership It's a place you don't dream of going to, but 34,000 people will come through here every year. I immediately committed to transform the Milwaukee County Jail into model facility. Acting Milwaukee County Sheriff Richard Schmidt took the media along with a handful of elected officials for a tour of what he calls a transformed facility. Excellence is not an option. He asked the National Institute of Corrections to review the entire jail operation. A report released on Thursday says some of the challenges facing the jail are staffing shortages, the opioid epidemic, and the mental health population frequently acting out. There were 17 recommendations in the report. 15 of those recommendations have already been completed. The jail still needs a complete policy update and staffing analysis. A new inmate will undergo various medical screenings before finally being admitted and assigned to the proper housing inside. This is the mental health unit. Psychiatric staff determine who goes here. This is where the acutely mental ill are. This is the discipline pod. You'll notice the medical staff running behind the sheriff. We had a medical emergency, an unresponsive inmate. That, I, I'll tell you, that, that makes my heart skip a beat. Seven people died in the jail since 2016, one from dehydration. Three staff members face criminal charges. Sheriff Schmidt says the right leadership is in place to change the culture of the jail and to assure the public the well-being of inmates is a priority. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new facility, and yes, we have changed it. All right. Well, let's shut this down. I don't want nothing to pop up. So, they didn't, um, I know, don't be upset. You didn't leave properly. You left shit in there. People died, and that's a serious matter. And it's catching up with you. My royal family, I've been reading some articles lately. They've been disinviting the former sheriff. To speaking engagements they say he's a utter disgrace so anyway let's go over here so you often talk about what they need to do in the ghetto and that jail was crazy and it it's all it all falls on your shoulder because you were leading but you wasn't even there you too busy taking trips all on fox smiling bowling scraping tap dancing cooning in them raggedy hats and all them fake medals that you had on and all that shit and so the unquote acting sheriff is making you look real bad so let's further see what else they done did in your house because you left a lot of shit island inmates two problems still plaguing the milwaukee county jail for the last month acting sheriff richard schmidt has worked with a national group to improve conditions and inmate behavior 
CBS Update's Julie Parisi toured the jail this afternoon, joins us live with some of the changes being made there. Julie. Well, Bill, today the acting sheriff acknowledged that with several deaths here since 2016, changes at the jail were long overdue. He also released to us the findings of an assessment on the jail by the National Institute of Corrections. Welcome to the Milwaukee County Jail. As nice as it can be for the condition that it's in. Some of these pods are very highly violent inmates with horrific criminal charges. Rocked by deaths and accusations of inhumane inmate conditions, the facility is a controversial one. But acting sheriff Richard Schmidt says he's trying to change that. I want people to know that when their loved ones and friends are in the Milwaukee County Jail, they're being treated properly. The jail was recently assessed by the National Institute of Corrections. Their report says the jail is making positive changes, including cleaner floors, more phones for inmate use, and more room for inmates to move around. But some of the problems plaguing the jail are still there. The report notes a nursing shortage. 600 of the jail's 900 inmates have serious mental or physical health issues. The jail records about 2,500 medical emergencies a year. This doesn't help to solve the jail's problem with overtime hours. I lose about a third of my correctional staffing every year. The changes to the jail are under intense scrutiny from public officials, including County Executive Chris Abley. This hasn't happened before. Abley says he is pleased with the level of transparency Schmidt has shown in improving the conditions, especially compared to his predecessor, Sheriff David Clark. Morale is clearly better than it used to be. I think he takes things a lot more seriously. The sheriff tells us right now one of the final steps in this assessment is getting an outside group to come in and do a staffing analysis to figure out how to solve some of those staffing issues they have here. They're currently working on that. Reporting live from Milwaukee, I'm Julie Parisi, CBS 58 News. Julie, thank you. Last year there were almost 2,500 medical emergencies requiring major responses at the county jail. 726 inmates taken to hospitals. Acting Sheriff Schmidt says overtime still an issue. It's difficult to keep staff because of the nature of the work, but they hope to be fully staffed, 300 officers, by the end of next year. Ooh, they making you look bad. Ooh, they making you look bad. Come on now, don't turn your head away. Don't do that. Now, it was raggedy up in that joint, and you telling folks they need to go clean up the hood in the jail raggedy. That's all a reflection of you. And you know what they're going to do? They write down everything. They did a total assessment and seen how greasy it was up in that joint. And you didn't take shit serious because you was too busy at Fox. I guarantee you, you going to have to deal with your shit. Because don't forget, Julie, you, you, you know, you, you left her there. She pissed. Where's she at? Right here. Right here. That's all fake. Oh, yes, it is. I can't wait to the impending divorce. Because I got some shit on you. Now I have to wait. It's about five months now before all that shit kick in. Because she going to drag you. I'm trying to encourage Julie to do a big deal. That would be really, really nice so we can dig further in your ass. <laughs> but anyway, my royal family, I just wanted to get y'all up to speed on the shit that the ex-former Kung Sheriff David Clark, the conditions that he left that jail in, and the morale was very, very low. So they're going to do a big recruiting process and maybe things will be a little bit better. You can treat people humanely in jail. So anyway, David Coon Clark, I'll be catching you later because I check on you daily, often. Sometimes I'll check five, six times a day. You can't keep your ass off trip Twitter. And don't think the gay community has lost sight of those gay jokes. Because trust and believe, something else going to come up later. And you're going to be looking just like this in this picture. 
So anyway, my royal family, I have already talked to the sheriff. Y'all know what's going down. Render your voice with your beautiful divine words like you always do. <laughs> so anyway, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I say, mm -mm -mm, you got issues. <laughs>